Okay, let's talk about this Tormin Champion Training Tournament going on right now because I know a lot of you out there have maybe gone for Tormin in the last month or so. They had, obviously, the Snow Points events where you could go for Tormin. I was able to finish that and get my Tormin here on my account, and a lot of people are going to be wondering, is this worth going after this Champion Training Tournament so I can get the guaranteed one-star soul or compete with other people on the left side of the tournament to go after a two, three, or four star soul. And kind of the first thing that jumps out to me is this is really underwhelming for the resource dump that you're expecting players to do. I mean, we've seen them put up Krisk in, in tournaments like this or Venus or acquiring literal champions onto your account in tournaments where you compete against other players like this. So to have the maximum reward be just a four star blessing for one champion based on winning a group of 100 people seems pretty underwhelming. And then also 12,500 points over on the right side to scoop up your one-star tournament. How many people out the gate are participating in this? I usually call that getting a thousand points, 43 people. Honestly, that's pretty good. A participation rate of 43% on this is pretty high. You'll usually see this in between like 10 and 20%. So what that tells me is probably more people than I would have anticipated are going to at least be thinking about going after their Tormund and trying to at least get some sort of blessing on him. Now, personally, I think 12,500 is a little steep. Um, you know, if you've got the resources to do it and you really want it, I guess go ahead. But the way that I would have liked to see this structured is probably have this be at least a two, maybe a three. And then have these be like four, five, and six. I mean, you're only giving it to 1% of the player base, if even, because you have a lot of people that aren't active right now, or you have a lot of people on holiday break. So you would, I mean, even if you give this to the winner of these tournaments, you're talking about like 0 0.5, 0 0.6% of the player base. I don't think that would have been a problem. Uh, at least give this to be a five star for winning the tournament and at least a two star for on the right side of the, of the 12,500. But I think also the reason we might be seeing a little bit higher than I would have expected participation rate is because there is a primal shard here for 8,000 points. So the way that Polarium would sell this and phrase this from their end is they would be like, well, you're not just getting the 12,500 points for a Torment Blessing. You're also getting the Soul Stone, the Ancient Shard, the Gems, the Primal Shard, a Legendary Tome, and then you're also getting the reward of the Torment Blessing along with if you're able to finish in the top 10 you're getting more soul coins and a chance at even a higher blessing for torment and gear and book rewards but the thing that is unfortunate is of course they are going to be styling this in a way where it fits in of a dead time and it's going to finish right before cbc so you're going to have this live on saturday sunday and monday and then obviously go right into cbc on tuesday because they kind of want to have as many days of the year where you have incentive to dump resources and they want to double dip as little as possible so that they can kind of stretch you as thin as possible so again, like always, advice is going to depend on you and your account and where you stand. I think this is a little bit too greedy. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I have the resources personally, so I guess I probably should go for at least the Primal Shard. It just seems like it's so steep that I don't want to encourage by participating in it. But again, I have no problem with you out there if you this is your first tournament and you want to get the blessing for him and you see the Primal Shard and you think it's worth it to go after it, by all means do it. It looks like we're going to see, it looks like we're going to see about 25% of players at least trying to get the 8,000 points for the Primal Shard. What I'll probably do is host a poll over on the community tab so you can vote on if you're going to be going after this champion training tournament or not. Also, while we are here over the weekend, you're going to want to make sure you finish up your Blizzard Fusion. I know people have got a lot of things going on for the holidays and people maybe are traveling or whatever. They're busy. They're not focusing on raid, but you do want to at least log in and finish this. You can see here for me, I am really close. I've got three of my epics developed. I just got to do this last one and then fuse my Blizzard over the weekend to be done with that. So just kind of don't let that slip through the cracks and forget to finish the fusion because if you got all four of the epics, it would be a massive rip to be sitting on four copies of Bobos and not actually go ahead and finish the Blizzard fusion but from some of the metrics and polling that I've looked at it seems like only about 20 25 percent of the raid community even went after the Blizzard fusion 
it was looking like more people were interested in going after the tournament for the snow events and all of that um is there any packs worth talking about while we're here because there really isn't a whole lot of other stuff going on right now it's going to kind of be a little bit of a calm weekend besides the champion training and then as we move in to the new year i'm sure we'll get teased the next fusion champion within the next week or two and we'll kind of jump into 2024 with some stuff going on but um 10 primals for 40 dollar eh. Winter string, this is kind of average prices. Looks like looks like three and four might be decent, but not really. I mean three is probably yeah, five, ten, twenty. Yeah, this is probably twenty bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not that great. Uh one for five and a hundred. Um, probably an above average winter pack here, but not amazing. Yeah, two for ten. I mean mythical tome. Yeah, this is probably like a 1.25. It's not going to be like a 1.5 or some god to your offer, but this is probably above Plarium's average market value. Um, chicken. Yeah, this is for the champion training stuff, obviously. And then the regular pack right here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything super noteworthy. Like a wow, you need to rush out and really consider this if you're a spender on raid. I see a couple things that might be above average market value, but nothing super great. And then I also see they are doing a New Year's Deck of Fate here for Gwendolyn, and that'll probably be, was this a, is this a different one here? Um, yeah, it's, it's above market value for sure, um, but not that great either. Okay, so same, same old story there. Um, yeah, so we'll probably upload a dedicated video on Gwendolyn and, and go over some of the community polling and some of my thoughts on Gwendolyn and how this champion grades out because Plarium is going to be featuring this one here during the events going on right now with the Deck of Fate synergy. So yeah, I appreciate all of you. Hope you're having a fantastic holiday season and I wish you a happy new year if this is the last video I see you in, but I'm gonna stay on the grind and work on this Gwendolyn content and some of the stuff to stay relevant here with Rage Shadow Legends. So remember to head on over to the community tab and voice your opinion on the different polling we do over there. And remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Rage Shadow Legends content. I'll see you soon in the next video. Peace.